guys yes here are my ingredients for my momoi i've got my um bell pepper i have scotch bonnet over there so i'm using two scotch bonnet and onions and i have a bit of garlic I'm using some garlic and i'm gonna use um puree tomatoes my oil i've got fish and that is my washed beans ready to be blended and this is the lovely leaves that we'll be using today for the momoin so that has been washed i plead with you if you buy your leaf from the market please 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 wash it thoroughly like i mean thoroughly wash it even with sponge if you have to use um, um what's it called soap use soap because it comes really dirty so i've washed it really well yeah and it's ready okay so i've got my um chicken stock there i really love using chicken stock volume chicken stock and i've got my salt over there so here are the ingredients that i'm gonna be using to cook momoi okay let's go okay now i'm gonna um stew the puree tomato so i'm just gonna add some oil okay, so i'm just gonna it's good to First of all, stew um, the puree because you don't want it too salty because when it's not um, fried, it's a bit too strong. So I would like to do this first just to get rid of that sauciness. Okay. okay, so I'm going to blend the beans. It's not going to be a lot of momoi, it's just going to be not that much, just small. So I'm going to put some bell pepper. So this is already washed, as you can see. Yeah, garlic. Oh, yes. I've got my squash on it. Okay, more onions. gonna add some water we need water so excuse the noise you can hear the car so then my kitchen is basically is close to the um, road It's nice and smooth, so very smooth. Okay, <clears throat> here are my um, here is the blended beans. So let me show you. So I'm gonna be mixing up, um, mixing it with that is the uh, puree tomatoes I stewed earlier. So I'm gonna pour it in. I'm going to add some oil.
guys the mac chicken stock. Okay, I'm gonna add some salt. I'm not gonna go crazy with the salt. So here I'm gonna add the fish. I always like having my fish this way. So that is boneless. I've um, removed all the bone from the fish, but there's no bone at all. So excuse the noise, my neighbor's case are outside the plane, so it's quite, they're quite very noisy. So I'm also going to add just a teaspoon crayfish. Yeah. So today I'm not going to be adding no eggs because um, I just realized I didn't have no eggs at home. So usually, I usually put eggs with it, but I'm not going to be adding eggs. But it's still going to taste fine. It tastes okay without the eggs. So now it's time to tie the mama in. This is really nice with the leaf. It's so so nice with the leaf. I just tie it and put it straight to the pot. So make sure this leaf is proper washed, like thoroughly washed. You know, because you don't know where it's where it's been, so it's good to always wash it proper for using. Very important. Extremely important. That's my mama in. But This, I actually let this when I was back home because my mom used to cook this, so I used to wash her tie this. So that's how I learned how to um, tie the leaf. So you see, very nice. So that is it. So now we're gonna cook it and we'll be ready soon. I'm just gonna add water. So always make sure you put water on the corner.
Okay, so I'm gonna cover it. See? So I'm just gonna take one out. Try it if it's ready. It's been like 30 minutes. Salt. Mm -hmm. 